And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2019 Japan, K1 Women's Flyweight World Championship Tournament, and Super Lightweight Title Match. We're here in Nagoya at the Dolphins Arena, 6,000 screaming fans ready for this next bout to kick off. Here in the red corner, we've got Kana. And in the blue, Christina Morales. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. And let's see what transpires in the ring tonight. Let's write some more historic action here. The first semifinal match of the first K1 Women's Flyweight World Championship Tournament. This should be some excellent action here as this is something Kana has wanted K1 to do for some time. That's right. Kana, the premier Oof. women's competitor here in K1. Looking great with her footwork oh, right yeah, off the yeah. beginning. She's looking good. She must be loving it. This is what she's well, this is what she's wanted. Yep. You know, she trains with the great staff over at the Silver Wolf Gym. Um, so she is gonna be in great shape for this one. What well, a Christina, great knee there. Well, Christina is gonna be one tough competitor to beat. Yep, very tough European fighter from Spain. Uh, and big record too. 46 wins. Nine knockouts, wow. only six defeats at 26 years old. Oof. Amazing. I'm loving the knee she threw right oh, yeah. off the bat. Yeah. Got the guard nice and high and mm -hmm. ripped the arms into that thing right down the middle. Yeah. Kana's going to have to watch out. Oh, definitely. We went with about a seven centimeter height disparity mm -hmm. as well. Um, Morales can rip those knees right down yeah. the middle. Kana's, Kana has a really good count, a right, right hand yeah. counter. Uh, that's the second time she's landed it. That was on fire. Yeah. That was great timing on that shot. Pulling her head, and again, man, Woo. Wow. Pulling her head off the line, too. She's kind of using her own head to evade the punch and to add some power into the shot. Mm -hmm. your, your head is also like a weight that you yeah. can rip to the side. Using that leverage, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Getting, she gets it's great coaching over at that Silver Wolf oh, yeah. gym. But, but when yeah. it comes to being in the ring, yeah, it's all Morales, about the fighter. Yeah. Morales has that dangerous knee. She has the height, she has the height and that knee. So it's that much closer to hitting the chin. Kind of be well served to uh, uh, find some different setups or pull away from the overhand right for a little bit. Mm. The problem is when you use kind of a tricky shot like that and you show that to your opponent a lot, they start picking up the cues. Yeah. Um, so she's got to set some feints up now. Mm attack somewhere else, bring the attention elsewhere, and then throw that thing back in there. Nice wow. left to the body, a great finish with the inside kick right. there. Kind of looking great this first round. Oh yeah, round. she's looking excellent. And Christina is also Ooh. laying out a barrage of punches. Just right down the middle. Yeah, and Kana's guard is, is tight. And that's the and thing too, not, a, yeah, a not, tough she, opponent yeah. like this is gonna bring out the best in you. So kind of mm. having to pull out all the stops to Land her Excellent. shots. Yeah. Excellent guard by Connor. I know me and my guard, and she has the. She's just. Yeah, she was mm. able to survive Christina's punches, and I'm sure those punches do not tickle. Is that round already over? I didn't even <laughs> notice time passing yeah, by yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fantastic round. Yeah, yeah. Lots of action. Ooh. Non stop. Ooh, and that, yeah. Yeah, that sent Morales mm. there back <laughs> a few seconds. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at her pony. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I don't know, but uh, I think ha having long hair and mm -hmm. fighting, it's it makes that when you get hit, it makes it look yeah. all that much worse. And, yeah. and I think it might be a and it might be a bit dangerous. So in this in this rule set, there's no knees mm -hmm. to the face. Ah, sure, sure. So that might have been why um, Christina was uh -huh. pulled aside uh, in ah, that first round. Ah, sure. Well, that, for her, that would be a great weapon because she's taller and she's obviously really great with her knees. Um, yeah, but you're right. Um, that you, hair flipping like yeah. that. Sometimes water mm -hmm. yeah. um, or blood, Yeah. anything, yeah, that adds to the effect mm -hmm. of the shot. The judges see and that. And they see it and, it, and it does matter. You know, do you throw your hook real tight or do you lift your elbow up a little bit, make it more obvious? Mm -hmm. Those all, all those things come into play. Yeah. Oof. Wow, this is great. She's eating the shot but coming back with the one, two. Ah, she did a she did a clinch. She's gonna get she's yep. gonna get a little bit. Yeah, gotta be careful there. It looked like more just a natural reaction. Yeah, it is than anything. She is especially with super a super sharp. Especially with a fighter with her record, probably um, you know 
for the number of different kinds of rule sets. Yeah, yeah. It's just muscle memory, right? So it's... Yeah. Ooh, but she... Oh, my Neelan, She held it just momentarily, yeah. too. Some of these, they call, you know, call it a K1 rule set um, or international rule set yeah. in Europe. Sometimes you get a second or two of clinch mm -hmm. and one strike. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've seen, so, you, I've seen you fight, fight those kind of fights before. So not egregious clinching, but mm -hmm. yeah, in the, in the pure Japanese K1 rule set, you cannot mm -hmm. use the hand to pull the head down. Mm -hmm. Ooh. She is looking awesome right now. Definitely, um, yeah, giving Kana a run for her money in the second round. But Kana's doing what she needs to do. Mm -hmm. She needs to be patient and move her head, make Morales miss and overcommit, mm -hmm. and that knee is on the money. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like her combos, man. Christine, uh, Christina's combos, I really like them. The thing is, is she going to be able to keep this pace up? Yeah. Now, Kana sees out. She's a little bit tired. Ooh. Ooh, and that, man, the chin there, a little extra exposed from Morales as well, and kind of just letting the hands go. She was real smart there, weathering the storm yeah. initially, and then getting her in the corner and letting her punches go. Mm -hmm. It's a gamble, and it worked out. She rolled the dice. That's right. And now she's collecting on the dividends. Man, so much strategy goes in these, into these fights, and, and a casual fan just wouldn't realize, you know, she is spending... So many a hours lot, yeah. in the gym, yeah. to sort of creating a game plan. Mm -hmm. She's got to fight, and then and then you have another mm -hmm. person you have to fight this evening if you win. Yeah, yeah. These tournaments are no joke. Oof. Oh, I'm oh. Her loose, but she's now she's bouncing, but right at the end of the punch, and just allowing Christina to follow her with ones and twos mm -hmm. right down the middle. A little over thirty seconds left here in the second round of the women's. Live World Championship Tournament. Wow. K1. Morales is great. And, you know, part of what makes her punches so strong is also, and her strikes so strong, is also a bit of a detriment in that mm. she doesn't have a lot of head movement. Mm -hmm. She stays real solid and yeah. throws down the middle, but she's leaving herself open to that overhand right occasionally because mm -hmm. her head's not moving. Yeah. Kind of could close her eyes and throw it, and it's going to be in the same spot. You know what? I'll say this. Christina's landing lots of great combos, looking excellent. But when Kana lands her hits, yeah. it shows. Yeah, yeah. It's a little, it's, yeah. it's the, the difference between, you know, a, a hit and a clean yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah. and that makes a big difference. But this is a fantastic match. Yeah. Wow. Very evenly matched fighters uh, fight. Um, fighters that evenly match Christina. Not giving Kana an Ooh, inch the to knees breathe. Buckle yeah. in there too, Kana. Yep. Just like you said, land the clean shots, the cleaner shots. Some awesome volume from Morales in this past round, but Kana just edging it mm -hmm. out with a little bit more power. Oh yeah, she's like, yeah, man. Snap on that right overhand right, and yeah. she's attacking the body well too. She leans in with the overhand right. And then we'll dig some body shots to follow up. And I've actually been to Silver World Gym to do some training with um, the cruiserweight fighter Sugimoto. And I like the overhand right. Mm -hmm. And Daiguji, who's in Kana's corner, mm -hmm. gave me the same advice. He said, you got a good overhand right, Brian. You know, I said, well, what should I, how should I follow it up? And he said, just throw a left and a right to the body afterwards. And that's exactly what Kana's doing. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah, it's working. It is working, some good advice there. Yeah, she's masterful with that shot. Ooh, and those knees, mm. more of those knees, man. Morales, yeah. keep those things coming because that's going to be the hardest thing for Kana to have to punch yeah. through. Ooh, nice, nice little uh, right there by Morales. Tagging Kana when she, uh, when she went off the line. Good knee there also. Yeah. Ooh, spearing with two. Amazing. The left knee and the left kick. It's an amazing fight. And I think this might be one of uh, Kana's um, most difficult uh Opponents and oh, yeah, but at the same time, I'm really seeing this how skilled Kana is. You know, mo most fights she definitely, uh, mm. she kind of <laughs> cleans house, yeah, she cleans bit, house, yeah. but this fight, you definitely, she's definitely able to, to dig to dig deep. I just watching yeah. Morales fight is, I mean, it's, mm. it's a learning experience for me. Like, she is just has great combos, finishes high and low, or finishes high, starts low, mixes levels. Right, left, from kicks to punches to knees, great long shots. Mm -hmm. Morales just with beautiful core. Ooh! Whoa! Cole not a slip. Ooh. 
And this, what I, what's awesome too about Morales is that she, even though her back's in the corner, she's still throwing kicks, punches, and knees. Yeah. You know, and she not just, giving Kana a chance she to get in. She puts Kana at the end of every one of her shots. Yeah. Her, her distance control and awareness of distance is great. Mm -hmm. And her volume is amazing. She's yeah. just throwing and throwing. What a fight. There's one minute left here. Th th this flight is flying by. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, the difference is, you know, she just doesn't quite have the rip and the pop that kind of has yeah. on her shots. Yeah. And being the shorter fighter, that gives you a little more leverage on that overhand right as well. Definitely. Oof. I mean, you're seeing it all here. You're seeing great body work. You're seeing great knees. Um, you know, great mid kicks. Ooh. Overhand right. Ooh. Body shot. Ooh. That, was a, that was a body shot, right? Uh, or is it, a, is it up top? I looked like a short right hook to okay. me. Okay. But I didn't have a real clear perspective. Yeah, yeah. There. Hopefully we can see that in the replay. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to see that. Oof. And look at Kana is gonna mm. she smells blood. Yep. She's going Ugh. she's feeding Frenzy now for her fists. Really not a bad idea for Christina there to clinch up a little bit. Oh, even definitely. if it's against the rules. Buy yourself some time, man. Mm. She should not exchange here too much. Mm. She should move a little. Oh, she knows it too. She's ah. done great work in she... these rounds. Oh. And kind of just pulling it out oh, right yeah, when she yeah, needs yeah. to. I, I can see the points just float, floating up in the air. Ah. How to say in, in Japanese, kibishi. Uh, ah. <laughs> kibishi round for Christina. She um, did so yeah, well yeah. that round too. That's yeah. so tough, man. Wow, what wow. a match. That match was fireworks. Yeah, wow. This looked like the final, the, the final. <laughs> Short little yeah, right hand. Perfect, perfect, right on the money. It was as she was going for a kick. Ah, yeah. There you, oh. Great timing, mm -hmm. Connor's part. Just bad luck there. Um, How many hours of practice does it take to to, to do what Connor did there? Because that she oh. knew she knew what she was doing, and she you know. Like, oh, a ton, man. And I've seen her work in the mitts um, with her trainer Daiguji, and she there. He is just, keeps her drilled, works her very hard, he's very serious, and they, they, everything is very detailed. So this fight, maybe you watch the same fight as the judges. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see. I think Kana had the first round. It's then, definitely the first. Round. Then the knockdown. Mm. 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 It's a close. It's a close one. Yeah. I think you know the knockdown really separated. Yeah. Well, the, uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Everything there. A big, big split there from the judges. Yeah. But um, great performance. Yeah. Okay, well, there you have it. The K1 World Grand Prix 2019 Japan K1 Women's Final Flyweight World Championship Tournament and Super Lightweight Title Match. See you next time. <laughs>